Today, August 25, 2010, the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer is ready to embark on this special US Air Force flight C5 Galaxy on its final leg in its journey towards the search for the mysteries of the universe. Destination, the Kennedy Space Center, Cape Canaveral, Florida. With a weight of 7.5 tons and its 5 by 4 by 3 meter size, the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer is one of the most complex scientific instruments ever built for space. Based on particle physics technology assembled and tested at CERN, but reduced in size and weight by particle physics standards to fit in the Space Shuttle cargo bay and onto the International Space Station. To celebrate this last leg in the long voyage to the space station that AMS started in 1994, CERN, in collaboration with the Geneva International Airport, organized a ceremony to accompany the loading of the detector onto the C-5 Galaxy, one of the largest transport aircraft in the world, specially made available by the US Air Force. Uh, this is a C-5M Super Galaxy, one of only three operational that we have. We were we were in Germany, uh, then we flew to Afghanistan, and then I, Iraq. How, how long did you stay in Afghanistan? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the press conference announcing uh, the departure of the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer from Geneva International Airport to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer is a particle physics detector designed and built to operate as an external payload on the International Space Station. Using particle physics technology developed at CERN. The reason why this experiment has been designed to be so sensitive to identifying cosmic rays, one part in a billion or better, is exactly to look for something very rare, which can be in the flux of cosmic rays, which cannot be seen from Earth. So antimatter is a good example because charged particle cannot would not make the atom to the atmosphere without being dis distru dis disturbed or destroyed. The sensitivity to some effect due to dark matter. The same dark matter people look underground studying the detail of the distribution of cosmic rays. But there are other forms of strange matter which may also be detectable in space. The bottom line is uh, once you look very carefully <coughs> with a very powerful detector for a long time to something which has never been observed with uh, enough uh, attention, you may find surprises. And this is basically why you're doing that. So we are motivated by these models, but in reality we look for something new, but would be a big surprise. Uh, I'm from the United States Air Force. Uh, my command, the Air Mobility Command, the, the job is to, to move things anything, anywhere, uh, any time. We have a very capable and a very uh, exciting aircraft sitting out on the ramp right now. Uh, we've got a very dedicated, very enthusiastic, gung-ho crew. They're ready to take this. So uh, we are very proud to be part of uh, the AMS's last terrestrial voyage. So tomorrow it's from Geneva to Kennedy Space Center and next stop is space. In the morning on August 26, 2010, the C-5 Galaxy of the US Air Force is ready to take off with its precious cargo and 45 members of the AMS collaboration. It's ready to leave Europe before its next and final stop, space. We wish AMS a safe journey to the Kennedy Space Center and we'll keep following its great adventure.